Hi YouTube, um, I'm back with you with another video and today I'm going to show you how to organize your school stuff because teachers hate it whenever kids are unorganized by it. Lucky for me, I happen to be one of the most organized. So, um, I'm about to show you how to become organized. The first thing you need to put in your pencil bag, because it's the stuff that you'll need the most, is crayons. But I got these twisty crayons. And they're sent, they're, they're sent to, like, they're silly sent too, so, like, you can put those in there first. Um, where did tape come from? This is my mom's, this isn't part of the video. Uh, Okay, um, next thing to put in there would be these pencils because these are what you should give people whenever they lose their pencils. Oh, uh, maybe I should put the tips up where the print where crayons are. There we go. Um, Okay. And I'll show you what it looks like inside of the bag once it's done. Um, next thing you want to put in there are highlighters because these are big. So if you're in class and you need a highlighter, you can basically open the bag and there should be one right there. You won't have to go through the hassle. Oh, look, I forgot this crayon. There we go. And just put them in there. It's already looking pretty in there. Uh, so that's in there. Um, next thing you want to put in, well, I guess I'm going to put this with the put this with the markers so um because they're markers next thing you want to put in there mm, is your colorful pens your colorful pens if you haven't seen my other video um you're a back to school um back to school haul i would recommend you watching that video and um i'll tell you why i have so many pens but these go in next um next or okay next are these Left pencils, because so they're on top, they won't be deep down in your bag. Um, next thing will be your crayons. That will keep from all your pencils and pens and stuff sinking to the bottom of the bag. And then I put my erasers in, uh, erasers in there. Oops. Well, actually, that's perfect. Hang on. The erasers are going to go. Someone's at the door. The erasers are down in the corner so that no one really sees them. It's Jeff. Oh. Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hello. Um, next thing that goes in is these post its. Post its. 
Then, the one and only thing you really, really need during school, white out. As you probably can tell, I have used some of it, but I still got plenty in there. Okay, so... Now I am going to show you what um, what it looks like inside of my bag. It's going to look like this. And as you can see, you really can't see the erasers, but they're actually over there. And then a corner over here. But they're organized and you won't lose them. Then you can just storm it outside. Then you can just zip your bag up and then you're ready to school. That's how it is over there. Um, now, one of the things that I have an exception over is putting your books in di or, or binders and stuff. Big, or like biggest to smallest I don't know why that's just how I am but um again that's not part of the video but um I have got my books right here there I'm not exactly sure how to put this but books my actually they're my uh they're my um this books up there wait are these upside down? Yeah, they're upside down. What did I do? Okay. These are now up. Maybe this should go on top. For some, the one reason I don't like this notebook very much, I mean, it's pretty nice, but the one thing I don't like about it is the fact is that the back is my front. I have to open it backwards because that's basically the front. This, this is what it should look like on the front. But, um, anyhow, um, I'm going to put this under, what, Mom? Um, then you put these like this, and then put the biggest book on top. Now it looks organized. Next, um, would be your folders. Um, I don't have my schedule for school. I'm going to have to get that on the first day back, which is August 22nd. But, um, normally I would put my first, I would put my first, uh, my first class in, as the first folder on top. But... It's not how it works. It's not how it works because I don't have my schedule. For some reason, high school got their schedule this year and not the middle schoolers. Hey, Mama. You're going to come up here and say hello? No? Yeah. Here is my kitty. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Mom. Put your name on that so it don't get taken. Okay. I'll definitely do so. It's all of a sudden the Mom House show. She's jumping down now. That was funny as heck. Anyways, um, my mom just gave me another eraser, so um, I can use this, too. I'll put this in the bag once I finally start packing stuff in my book bag. But... Like I said, normally I would have my first special, my second special, or my first class, second class, third class in order. But I don't know my classes yet, so all these holders would go right underneath of this. But the um, thing is, uh, I've got a few things to put underneath of here. Um, I'd put this underneath of my folders, 
because they're bigger. Oh, actually, the book needs to go on top. Put this on top of my folder. Oh, that's a secret. Organize the, so these will go right on top of here. And before I show you my binder, well, actually, I'm showing you my binder right now. I'm going to show you a few things that you can do inside of your binder. That way it stays organized. Um, here's our start. Um, I've got these things so that you can put your home, like, Um, like technical, technical um cards can go on the back here. Don't read the name. I mean, don't don't mind the name. These are for my my for my friends and whatever um classes. But uh, I got my host my uh my note uh pad things back here, and then the front here I've got these little elastic things. So you can put your paper down inside of there and it won't get ruined. But this is my home room thing that I got in the mail not too long ago. Um, and on the back is my principal and whatever. Next up though is my poem. Well, my first poem anyway. This is my actual first poem. Maybe in another video I'll read it to you guys. But this is my love poem. Oh. My love poem. And then I've got like a, little, a few more of those elastic. Hang on a second. Oh. oh why does it keep? I have a few more of that. Those. This is a disaster. Holy crap. Okay better. This is. I got like six more of these elastic things and starting paper this is what I used for my eight high school freshman tips um if you want you can go check that video out and then after you have those elastic things you have your paper and you also have the pockets on this so yeah that's how you organize your binder and this is what your binder should look like if you're just opening it you start with your elastic things And then you have your note cards. <sighs> oh. Yeah, um, hand hit the screen. I was worried I just got in there. But, uh, that would be that. And then you have your nice binder. In case. Like, I got this from Family Dollar, and I like the cover and everything, but I like to have my name noticeable, too. So, I did the decorations on the back of it, like, used some art paper. And I put my name and put what the T-I-F-F-A-N-I -I stands for. And then I did hearts, which I actually regret not coloring sooner, but I like it still. But this is what the inside of your book bag should look like all together so now I'm about to tell, uh, show you how to mm, how to organize your book bag and not make a mess or overflow one part of your book bag um, so once you got everything set up and like I told you guys before I have got one more thing to place inside of my pencil bag. Actually, I've got to do something on it real quick. Where's my black pen? Got it. Um, on the back of it, I'm going to put my name.
A N I K. Home room one thirteen. And that's another thing I wanted to say to you guys is that it's good. It's always good to name your stuff so that you don't like you don't end up losing it and someone actually steal it. And it don't rub off either. So those pens are real. They're real good. See, not one black mark. Put the eraser in there now. Put my black pen back in there. Oh, in my diamond It's still raining. Obviously. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay. Um. Okay, it landed somewhere. Okay. And there goes my dad again. Okay, so what I did for my middle part right here was I put my book in there. And then, well actually no, here's how I did it. I placed my... Uh, my pencil case in there but then I place my book in there and you don't want to stuff it too much either bye you don't want to stuff it too much either because if you do then it won't then it won't tape shut so um you only use the middle part for as much as possible. Like it's, um, you only use the middle part for as less as possible. Um, but your first thing you want to put inside of your book bag would be your binder because it's the biggest thing. I already told you my exception with big is the smallest. So uh, put that in there first. Second would be my green folder, and I kind of like this green folder because um, one side it's a uh, it's a thing, and the other side a folder. And this is my old like my made yearbook since my mom couldn't afford an, an, a real one. It still works though. Um, put that in there next. I'll take it out of there, but. Still got a week before school comes back. Next thing you want to put in there would be your folder. And next you want to put this in there Dad, black oh. next after that you would place your notebooks in there someone knocked Anyhow, I'm back. Um, yeah, I seem to have a little bit of a difficulty right now. So just put one notebook in there at a time.
Oh, that's okay, Mom. Um, then you'd put the smaller one in there. And actually, wow, this one's actually okay. Let's see if I can get that one in there without problem. Okay, not a too bad of a problem. The whole crap was sweating from doing all that. Now the inside of your book bag should look like this. Nice and organized. And the top of your book bag should hang on a second. Place you down. Top of your book bag should look like that. And that is how you would organize your book bag. And it may look like much, but it really ain't. So I'm about to turn the book bag and see it. That's what it would look like on the outside. But um that is it for this video. Um Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that post notification button so you know when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.